Hey people, uh, it's just a quick video update on my latest terrain project um, and just a few things that I uh, seem to be finding with it. This is kind of a response to um, uh, Terrainaholic's uh, city uh, gaming board and his technique of making ruins which I thought was brilliant to be honest. So um, yeah, here's my attempt. This is using pink foam, not the blue foam that Terrainaholic used. It's pretty much exactly the same, same properties and everything. I actually got this stuff for free because there's a um, building site near us, a um, barn conversion, uh, and uh, they had a load of uh, this pink foam uh, lying around. It actually had originally a plasterboard backing to it, so I had to separate the plasterboard from the foam but this is three quarter inch um, uh, foam this is a bit thick for my liking but it was either get it for free at three quarter inch or get it um, you know, have to pay for it uh, for half an inch which I wanted so I just thought I'd try it out seeing as it was free stuff free stuff is always good right okay this is only half done so far and I was just going to tell you a couple of things that I seem to be finding uh, that are difficult with it. Uh, for this stuff, yeah, I never believed anybody when they say it blunts your knife really quickly, but it does. This stuff, I've gone through two knives already just to do this. Um, so, yeah, I uh, have a massive stack of blades. Also, another thing is this stuff is uh, seeming to be fairly difficult to glue together. Um, it's fairly obvious, really. It's like trying to glue two bits of plastic together with white glue. It's kind of not that great. Um, but um, if you're going to do this in any large quantities, I thoroughly recommend you uh, buy a hot glue gun. They're only about £10 on eBay. So, um, yeah, uh, get one of those if you're going to do it. I'm only, I didn't think it was worth investing in one of those things. I'm only doing about two ruins maybe um, so not worth it for me uh, right uh, three quarters done um, as you can see I still need to paint it I've ha added a hell of a lot of battle damage to all the parts of the terrain I've gone for the classic games workshop style as uh, two corners opposite each other on a square base because uh, I think that works quite well for wargaming like get your models in and out. Um, there's lots of rubble on the bottom of cover. Um, also, the other thing I need to do is in these corners. I don't know whether you, yeah, you can see it's these um, are like notches at the moment. Um, in Terrainaholics video, he used um, a post system, uh, and I have to add the posts in these two corners. Don't need to worry about these two because they're completely blown out. So yeah, um, show you when it's painted. Alrighty, hey people. This um, last video is just to show you the finished product, and it's also to uh, try out my new HD webcam. So yeah, seven twenty p. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to show you some better videos. Right. So this is a finished product. See, looking pretty nice, all painted up. Nice and plain and grey. City and terrain. Right, uh, what I should show you, most notably, is um, these corners. I was going to fill them in, as I said before, uh, with posts, but uh, what I found was uh, that I uh, didn't have enough time to um, go out and buy some posts. So. What I just settled for um, was uh, filler. So it's uh, basically just ordinary builder's filler for filling in um, cracks and stuff. And um, I just smoothed it on um, in like a uh, 45 degree angle um, to the walls. So um, this kind of uh, makes a nice corner. I think actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it might would probably look 
better like this in the end than um, if I had to put posted so I'm pretty pleased with it if you notice polystyrene filler yeah um, it's, it's quite tough um, yeah just basically because I was lazy and I couldn't be asked to go to the lumber store just to buy a small piece of um, one inch uh, polystyrene